You keep getting sores. They swabbed for herpes twice. It's negative, but my doctor still thinks it is. Um, have you had a blood draw? Have you had an IgG blood draw? It depends on when you were um, introduced to the HSV virus. If it was recent, if it was like two weeks ago, you're probably going to test negative. If it's been like three months or longer, then that's a better opportunity to get a better read. If you're still, so the best test that's out there for herpes is called a Western blot, B-L-O-T. It's difficult though. This is not for the person that has already gotten a positive result and like you know you have herpes but you wanna like prove that you don't. This is not for you, okay? Um, this is for the person like, like you that's saying like, hey, I get sores, I'm getting swabbed, it's testing negative, I don't know, I'm getting equivocal test results, I don't know, i getting this, getting that. Western blot is from the University of Washington and you have to get it shipped to you directly, the kit. What you have to do is go to the phlebotomist and then the phlebotomist will draw the blood. Then you take the blood back, which is typically not a custom. So you have to call whatever phlebotomist where you go and say, can I take it with me? Because usually they it's their property and they send it off to a lab. You actually have to get it back and then you send it back to the University of Washington. So it can be quite costly. I've heard people say it's like $500 around that with the shipping, with the cost of the test, with paying the phlebotomist and things like that. So if you're still continuing to get these unanswered answers, that's probably gonna be your best bet.